So this trial focuses on advanced and uh, recurrent endometrial cancer. Uh, and patients with advanced endometrial cancer have disease spread outside of the uterus, into the abdominal pelvic cavity, and in some situations, um, systemically throughout their body. In patients with recurrent endometrial cancer, they've had initial treatment success after initial diagnosis. However, they have recurrent disease diagnosed based on patients' reported symptoms, physical exam findings, or new imaging findings. So the purpose of this trial is to build on the backbone of carboplatin and paclitaxel, adding an immune modulator, a PD-1 inhibitory antibody, pembrolizumab. The hope is that this combination will have a favorable adverse effect profile for patients and still improve overall survival. All gynecologic malignancies are relatively rare when you compare them um, to other malignancies in patients. There is no one single institution that can accrue enough patients to make a statistically meaningful analysis of improvements in survival. The only way this study could be done is in a collaboration like the Big Ten. The purpose of this study is to test the good and bad effects of the study drug pembrolizumab in combination with routine care using paclitaxel and carboplatin chemotherapy. Cancer cells often create proteins, called PD-1, that act as signals to turn off part of the immune system that recognizes cancer cells as foreign. This allows cancer cells to hide from the immune system. Pembrolizumab is a drug that blocks this signal and allows the immune system to recognize and attack these cancer cells. The use of pembrolizumab in combination with carboplatin and paclitaxel is investigational. This means that the FDA has not approved this combination of drugs for your type of cancer. This study will allow researchers to know whether adding pembrolizumab to the usual chemotherapy drugs makes the treatment work better, the same, or worse than the usual approach. You may be eligible to participate in this study if you have stage 3 or stage 4 endometrial carcinoma. If you were treated previously for endometrial cancer and your cancer has recurred, you must have had a documented complete response from your initial treatment. This means that there was no evidence of cancer after completing your initial treatment. There are other criteria that must be met to be eligible for this study. Talk to your doctor to learn more. A full description of this clinical trial is also available at www.clinicaltrials.gov using the trial number 02549209.